even on a cold, dreary day, Paris is still beautiful. Ah, I love it here. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Savannah Byrne and I, I go by Savvy C and welcome or welcome back to the Savvy C Scoop, a place where I talk about all things books, my life living in Paris and travel. And today I am on the move, determined to go and show you guys some bookstores that are native and unique to Paris. I was watching the news earlier this morning in cases, COVID cases are back in the 20,000s, 5,000 is our goal to be fully out of confinement, everything's open again. And with those numbers, it's looking like that's not the case. So I'm just, you know, gonna take advantage of the time I do have outside and go explore some bookstores. So come along with me. <laughs> I've heard so much about it. It's like the most famous place, like bookstore wise in Paris. So I had to come here first and it was so great. I loved it. There was two floors, which I'll show you guys in the footage. Hopefully it picks up and speaking English would have to be thrown off. It was created by an American. It was founded by an American. And then now the owner is half American, half English, which I love. So that's super cool. Um, great environment. They have a coffee shop attached to it as well. And at this point too, it's like a tourist attraction because it's right next to, like literally up outside of Notre Dame, like the perfect place, like heart of Paris. So yeah, prime real estate. So next I'm off to, I'm not sure yet, but this is the first stop of mini.
to and it was really quaint. I've been there before briefly for orientation and I liked the vibe so I wanted to go back. Again, English based bookstore so it's weird like walking into a place and hearing English <laughs> being talking to me but it's cool. Um, so yeah, good stuff. I was looking for bad feminists and they didn't have it so they're just gonna call me when it's back in stock and I'll go back and pick it up. So on to stop number three. Yeah. but they were really chill it was small but got what you need and i think they can order stuff for you too but it was so great so now on to stop number four and i think i might have one more after that and then go and get some food to my great surprise it wasn't crazy out of the way it was the furthest one away from Shakespeare and Co which was like my starting point and I'm so glad that I hold up <laughs> I'm going back and forth that I read about it so that was super great it's terrible weather right now it's like cold it's not pouring down rain anymore okay yeah it's not but <laughs> even on a cold dreary day Paris is still beautiful ah, I love it here so now I'm on to the fifth and final stop, final bookstore, and then I'm gonna go get some food.
just left the fifth and final place and it was so dope that was the coolest place of them all oh my gosh that was a great way to end with a bang that place was it just and i remember now i'm thinking about when i did my research it's like a collection of like artwork and like photography and things like that so it's not your typical bookstore and it is yeah if you are an art lover photographer painter sculptor that is the place for you full with so many rich archives and like cool cultural like tapstones they have like stones in there beetles maybe campbell muhammad ali in the back like so many key parts of history in there so really dope really dope place <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I am sitting my love to so wherever you are in the world where you're watching this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye from Repoop Peak.